In this video, we clarify the difference between interest and behavior targeting on Facebook so that you guys can save money and get the best results possible from your Facebook ads. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Market and Hustle, where we simplify marketing so that you guys can grow your digital influence and your business. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so as we pump out weekly videos where we break down marketing fundamentals and cover the steps that you need to take to apply the strategies that we cover. Now, whether you're a first time advertiser on Facebook or you've done this a couple of times, you're probably wondering what is the best way to set up your targeting on Facebook? So stick around to the end of this video and you will understand how they work and what are the best ways to use them to maximize the impact of your ads on Facebook. Although they are both fundamentally different, interest and behavior targeting are really effective ways of getting your ads in front of the right consumers. And with so many targeting options on the platform, it is no surprise that many people get confused between interest and behavior targeting. So what is interest targeting? Basically, an interest on Facebook is something that the platform believes that you have an affinity with. Through its machine learning capabilities and its algorithms, it looks at what pages you follow, what type of content you tend to engage with. It determines essentially what you like. Also, as you continue to use Facebook over time, the platform gets better at understanding your tastes. And this helps the ads to deliver more effectively to the right users, which saves you money as an advertiser. On the other hand, behavior targeting has a lot more to do with your behavior. So if you're a small business owner who graduated from college and creates a lot of Facebook events, then advertisers like yourself can use those three behaviors to target against. On my experience running hundreds of campaigns on Facebook over the last seven years, I've seen that behavioral targeting tends to be a lot more relevant to users, but it's also a lot more expensive. And interest targeting tends to be a little bit less relevant, but it's usually able to deliver against larger audiences. Now, I think in a perfect world, you wanna test both targeting options separately and then try mixing them both to see what gets you the best results. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you found the information useful. As I post weekly videos on marketing fundamentals and even break down the steps that you need to take to apply the strategies that we cover. Also, drop me a comment below and let me know if you would like to see more videos on this topic and I'll do my best to put out a video for you guys in the future. Till the next time, peace.